So, um, I think uh, the strength of NXT is a decentralized asset exchange. Um, the, you really need, um, that's, that's the one where, I love decentralized asset exchange because it was the first idea that came up for me when I watched into Bitcoin now many years ago. I was so impressed that a lot of people launched their own assets in the cryptocurrency world. That was really amazing. And of course that clicked immediately with me because I had been trying to launch a fund myself for many years and all the regulations is just a total nightmare. And, um, and you can't just do, you can't do it. It's just too much regulation that really destroys the industry and really monopolizes the industry uh, to launch your own asset uh, into a few big banks, their hands. Eh? Um, and um, so, 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 uh, but Bitcoin didn't have the good solution because um, it was all centralized exchanges and, 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 and they all always went bust. And, 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 and today, okay, you still have more decentralized exchanges uh, uh, like Counterparty and Omni. So they have built something on top of Bitcoin, uh, but there is still a lot of counterparty risk there because the exchange itself doesn't work that well. It's just the launching, issue, issuing of the assets is decentralized, but the actual trading ends up being centralized on Polonix today mainly. Of all these assets, they are traded on Polonix. And so also the storage of these shares eh, uh, and which account has what, what shares is all on Polonix for the most part. Um, and so NXT really succeeded in offering something unique there. Still today, even though NXT has gone, went down two years in a row, even though the asset exchange itself is stopped growing eh, and people are actually leaving. Neto, I think there are more people leaving than coming to NXT asset exchange. So, so there is a big problem, but it's still a unique um, offer here uh, that you can not only launch your asset, but also trade your asset comfortably. And you, you're, you don't need to like transfer your shares to Polonix. No, the, the platform is good enough to uh, trade it also decentralized and keep it stored in a decentralized way on your own computer with after your own um, passphrase. That's still a unique offer, but we have been neglecting it and um, not, not never like pushed marketing into like attracting more assets. Um, and core devs, I think, have made some improvements to the asset exchange, but overall it has not been on their agenda. Instead, they have been focused on new features and now they are focused on, on, on um, building more an NXT platform. So uh, for other decentralized applications, this, um, but this too, I mean, it's not, this is not really directly contributing to the success of the NXT asset exchange. Eh? It is contributing to the next um, platform. Eh? But these are two different things, especially when the next 2.0 uh, gets um, uh, realized, then you basically get two currencies. Eh? You get uh, Fnext, let's call it FXT, I like that name. You have FXT done and NXT, eh? FXT, NXT, FXT, NXT. Hmm? I'm not sure that's going to work. No, I think something like a root or you need a certain name, eh? but for, for FNXT, um, um, they will have their own interests, which will be different from NXT. They will be uh, offering a platform and they will validate transactions. But for NXT, the interest will be elsewhere. The interest will be to, um, I, I propose to really build out the, the NXT asset exchange successfully. Huh? Um, dump the marketplace that hasn't taken off. Um, and... Um, uh, also the monetary system dumped that too um, um, and also yeah yeah the, and really focus on building out an NXT asset exchange I think that's very important and we still have a chance there to do that um, because uh, the competition is now um, like uh, actually starting to win over NXT but the competition locally is uh, Omni and Counterparty who are not a decentralized solution so uh, we can still gain market share from them back and beyond. Um, but it is super important that we em embrace it because we're now like we have something very strong 
Um, an, asset, an asset exchange is something very strong because it has a strong network effect. That means that the more users that participate, the more valuable it becomes. And, 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 and that's really the case with a currency. That's why it's so difficult to compete with Bitcoin as a currency. It is so difficult. But it is possible if you also offer a very strong network effect. Eh? eBay can choose whatever currency they want because they have clients that will not go away. eBay can force people to use a certain currency eh? because eBay offers some, something unique eh? uh, and people will do it eh? because they have to. Eh? And NXT Asset Exchange can do that too. Um, but only if it's successful in attracting enough users, uh, issuers and investors. Um, and I think it's the right way. And I think it allows to still build a great currency because that is my goal. It's not to build a great exchange only. No, that's not my goal. If you want to build a great decentralized exchange, then of course you focus on immediately accepting Bitcoin as payment and focus on Bitcoin and build the exchange fully decentralized and um, just allow Bitcoin payments. That's also uh, what Coinomat seems to uh, want to do now. But the problem with that is that, um, uh, well, your business model has to be fees then because you don't gain with Bitcoin going up in value then. So you have to do fees. And, well, yeah, that's one possible business model that you can do. Um, yeah, I think it's a possible road and, and, and it's interesting. I would only suggest to Coinama to... Uh, it, it might be interesting to actually use NXT 2.0 for that because you will be able to allow to do that. You can then just fork NXT and, uh, and just change the currency into Bitcoin instead of NXT. And um, then you have a fully decentralized exchange, but probably that's why I wouldn't choose to use Bitcoin because you will have counterparty risk. Eh? The, all the Bitcoins will not be Bitcoin stored on your own computer. It will be a, an asset with counterparty risk. So uh, I, I, that's not a good solution. I think if you build a decentralized exchange, you also need to make sure that the Bitcoins themselves are stored decentralized with the clients only. If that's possible, please uh, contact me because I want to work on that. If that's possible, then I want to also work on that. But um, I have the impression it's not possible. So, but what is possible is, of course, uh, the NXT Asset Exchange is proven to work well, but we can make it a lot more user friendly um, and we can you know, market it much better um, and probably also work on the features. Um, and um, yeah, so so I think it's a, a good uh, a good direction for NXT, and um, yeah, that's just an idea right now. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.